Hello, I'm Kim Sao for Winnie TV in uh, Rosemont, Chicago for, uh, at SMT AI. I'm joined by Keith Bryant from Ixlon. Keith, always good to bump into you at these shows. We're now in um, just outside Chicago. Um, it's been a two-day show, successful show for you? Yep, very successful show. Mm -hmm. I always like this kind of shows where you have a good conference with them because it brings the, the technology guys out and they're always good people to demonstrate your equipment to and good to have like nice technical conversations with. Mm -hmm. So in terms of your equipment and what Ixlon is up to, what's new? What's new? Well, this year we've launched two new ranges of machines. We've got our high-end Evo machine here, which is ideally aimed at failure analysis labs, high technology application, so it's an ideal thing to, to demonstrate out. Um, so that's good, it's working well for us. It's been a, a busy show, mm -hmm. so we're very happy and content. Mm -hmm. And looking at the markets that, that um, you have these solutions for, what's the sort of feedback you're getting? Are there particular industries that, are, that you're targeting for them? Yeah, I mean, with the Evo system, we have a, a semi-system, we have a SMT system, and we have the Plus, which is the, the high-end lab system. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're, uh, we, we, we've always had this thing in our industry where the, the more money you pay, the equipment is better, but it's not really targeted to do a specific thing. So the, the aim of the Evo range was to actually make the machine best for that application, mm -hmm. because the applications are really wide, mm -hmm. and they're all completely different. You know, if you look at the semiconductor end, you want really good resolution at low power and low KV. And if you look at the SMT end, I mean, we're looking at IGBTs with 10 millimeters of copper on the back of them. So you need good resolution at high power and high KV. And to try and think you can get all of that out of one machine, it's basically not a reality anymore. Mm. And as the, the technology demands become greater and greater, so the 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 spread is much, much wider. Mm. So the, the philosophy behind the Evo range was that we will, we will target that actual range of applications. So, you know, if, if you're building SMT products, don't buy a semi-machine, because it isn't the best thing that you can have. Mm. But the Plus machine is a, a, a jack of all trades, but really a master of all of them as well. But it doesn't have the speed of throughput because it's all about image quality. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a failure analysis lab, you want the best possible image regardless of all the other things. Mm -hmm. So it allows us to, to give a balance. So is that a strategy you, you, you see in the future as well that you're gonna to have to focus in on particular uh, niches, uh, particular applications to come up with a solution that is relevant to that particular application? Oh yeah, very yeah. much so. You know, the, they're not going to converge over time. They're mm -hmm. going to diverge even more. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're now looking at the, the seven nanometer stuff in terms of semi. We're looking at bigger and bigger stuff with electric vehicles, with wind farms, with um, ultra capacitors for batteries, and all of this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it, it's really going to become a, a, a bigger and bigger divergence. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I look forward to um, finding out what's new at the next show. I'm sure we'll bump into each other either in Munich or probably San Diego next to Apex. Yeah, and probably both. And probably both. Great pleasure. Keith, thank you very much. No problem. Always Thanks. a pleasure, Keith. Thank you.